Hey, everybody, hope you're doing well. God bless you. Want to encourage you about stocking up and preparing. Uh, it's something I've spoken about before here on this channel. I know I did back in probably the end of 2001, beginning of 2002. I spoke about making sure that you store and set things aside, be independent of yourself, so to speak, not of yourself, but of uh, the stores and grocery stores and places like that, and just being able to have your own stuff. Hard times are coming, you guys. Um, hard times are coming. I don't know what exactly. I haven't seen that far. It's not what the Lord has shown me, but he has given me precaution measures and said, hey, this is what you need to do to prepare. And so, you know, think like, pretend that you're Joseph and, you know, you're in Egypt and there is a famine coming. The Lord has, you know, presented this to you and you've got to stock up and prepare. Do that. You know, put things aside. I know it seems like a long time, but seven years, 10 years, this is what I was hearing from God. Stock things up, prepare, put things aside. So that is my encouragement to you. Make sure you take time, talk to God, pray about it, whatever it is that you need to do. Get beans, get rice, non-perishable items. Um, and that's another thing. I was going to put this into a different video also, but um, having your own farm, your own land, your own animals, your own um, trees and plants, things that you can grow on your own. Again, this can you know help to make you self-sufficient, help you contribute to that stock up and you know have things set aside for yourself. If maybe you want to sell to others or share with others, but also, but just being in that independent state and not reliant on, hey, I've got to go to Walmart or Publix or Winn-Dixie or whatever Kroger's or whatever grocery store that you may have around you, um, that you know that you have your stuff and you're stocked up, you're prepared, you've put things aside. If you've got to sell things, sell things so that you can get yourself started. You may not have money to build a brand new house, but hey, I can get a trailer. I can get like a storage unit. I can, you know, refurbish it, make it into something new. People are living out of their vans and cars, but they're doing what they need to do so they, they can get started, whether it's here, you know, I'm living in the United States or whether you're in some other country. Um, think about what's going to be good for you. Talk to God, even first and foremost, and present it to him. See what he has to say and what's going to be a good plan for you and what you should do. But definitely, I would highly encourage you, stock up and prepare, having your own farm and land. These are other things also the Holy Spirit that has spoken to me about would be a benefit for you also as well. Hard times are coming, you guys. I can't say for sure what's going to happen. It's not something that the Holy Spirit has shown me directly, but I do know that hard times are coming. I do have a sense of that and that uh, it's going to be like a Joseph situation. Now is the time to prepare. It's time to stock up. Uh, if you don't know what to do, there's tons of videos on YouTube that people have. You have these preppers and other people that have been doing it for years. And, you know, there's people in here in the U.S. I see people with videos even in whether in Africa on the continent there or even uh, I think it's in Vietnam also, or is it Vietnam or Thailand? And they just, they're out there, you know, for 30 days and they build their homestead from scratch. Everything is from scratch. And so, you know, things like that to help give you an idea, jog your mind of what you can do, but please be intentional about it. Don't say, hey, oh yeah, I'll get to it. And before you know it, five and six years have passed away and you haven't done anything. And so talk to your family, your, you know, your loved ones, whoever that you need to, but first and foremost, talk to God, make a plan with him. And, you know, I believe that the, if the Lord is bringing you to this, he will bring you through it. He will provide for you. You may look at your income and your resources and be like, Hey, I don't even see it, but God will provide for you. If you are intentional, you commit your ways to him. He will help you. He will help you. Okay. You guys. So, um, until next time. Yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about this more probably. Um, I doubt this will be the last video I do on this. Uh, you know, there's some more information. But for this, for, for now, um, yeah, God bless you. I love you guys. If you have any prayer requests, drop that down below. If you have any resources that you'd like to share with the rest of the community here of other people who may watch this video, uh, definitely put that also uh, down below in the links and in the chat section chat section. <laughs> uh, but until next time, you guys take care. Bye.